Let's talk COP27 while I split wood here. So, a bunch of quote-unquote representatives from every country that pretends to give a crap about the planet that we're living on currently, reality. <clears throat> every whatever years, and this is the 27th meeting that they've had. And, uh, I don't understand why it's taken more than one meeting to agree to stop burning fossil fuels so we don't go extinct as a species, <laughs> along with everything else here, you know? So, I don't quite get that. Uh... So, at this meeting, for some reason, like every other one of these meetings, they let in a bunch of oil representatives, like 140 of them or something. Because if you were having a meeting with your chickens about coop security, you'd invite the foxes and the coyotes and the weasels, right? That would really make some progress if you invited the weasels to your chicken coop security meeting to try to keep your chickens alive. So, what does this mean for us as farmers and as beings who want to continue being able to live on the planet? Well, quite simply, it means that we can't wait for them to uh, take action. We're going to have to do it. Because they couldn't even agree to phase out fossil fuels after 27 fucking meetings about what to do about climate change. So, I'm definitely phasing out fossil fuels here on the farm and could use some support. Uh, I have a vehicle that hasn't been running for a while that needs to get running again. And my truck needs to be converted to biodiesel. And when the farm finally gets a tractor, hoping a Kubota, that will also be running biodiesel. Right now, and uh, if I remember, I can link some videos about it. The uh, farm is running on firewood, as you can see. So, no fossil fuels are involved in the heating of the farm, nor the hot water, nor cooking. And that's all fine and dandy, but it isn't enough. I want to heat the barn with uh, an outdoor wood broiler, because we're on acres of forest here. There's no reason to give the fossil fuel companies money to, to do stuff and get things done and make progress. Unlike these frickin' tools who are letting fossil fuel representatives into their meeting about getting rid of fossil fuels. Again, like letting weasels into your meeting about chicken coop security. It's absolutely non-productive. Quite the opposite. I mean, I would've had those guys arrested. I wouldn't have let them in the building. Are you kidding me? Like, let's have a meeting about bank security and invite the robbers. <laughs> let's have a meeting about how to stop serial killers and invite the serial killers, but not arrest them. <laughs> you know, give them some complimentary drinks or something. Tell them to keep up the good work. I mean, I don't get it. Ugh. If you're actually trying to accomplish saving the planet, you absolutely wouldn't have invited those people. Ugh. You'd invite the 
environmentalists that are getting murdered and arrested every year trying to stop these guys. Well, what do I know? I'm just a farmer, right? So I'd like to teach everybody how to get off fossil fuels by example, I guess. Because these pricks at these meetings for 27 years haven't done a damn thing. I'm getting sick of warmer and warmer, more unpredictable weather. Makes it really hard to time planting and harvests and firewood production and other shit. Plus messing around with the only planet you can exist on is just generally, I don't know, a bad idea. I don't know. Just doesn't make too much logical sense to me.